Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Yes, I've got my uh, rubber gloves on. Good I'm morning, Liz. Oh, no. <laughs> Good morning, Liz. Morning. What's well, your tip? Okay, though. whatever. Let them feel like we're really productive and got up early. Um, so today should have been a race day. We should have been at the Evolve Half or Quarter Triathlon. And I didn't tell you guys, but I'd actually swapped my entry to the Quarter Distance, which was a 1K swim, 40K bike, and a 10K run. Sounded great. Why are we not there? Because we've been up nearly all night. I know what you're thinking. To... No, no, it's not that. <laughs> Due to a very bad um, bonfire at a farm that's just about 50 metres up the road. We woke up just before half one to a lot of like pop crackling bangs. And Daniel said, oh, but it's fireworks. I said, it's not going to be fireworks at this time in the morning. And it was torrential rain as well. Yeah, I just need to give some context. Quite often, um, Liz will wake me up in the middle of the night and she'll be saying random, random stuff, won't you? <laughs> like, it's just, you're just like, like she's mid-conversation. So she said something like, oh, the smoke outside or something. I was like, Liz, can you can you either wake up properly or go to sleep, please? Like, stop being so ridiculous. And then, uh, you know, we actually learned that there's actually a fire about 50 metres from the house. Uh, a fairly well-developed, big fire. So, um, obviously, we're out on the street and so on. And I won't go into details, but yeah. everybody's okay. Obviously, the were five service only just left, aren't they? This is like yeah, lunchtime now yeah. on Sunday. So um, we were up for about half one and then you get back in bed and your adrenaline's pumping at like half three. Yeah, it was gone four three. before yeah. we were back to sleep again. So. Yeah, and you said at four o'clock, you said, shall we go Shall we go in the morning? And bear in mind, we're having to get up at five <laughs> like, to, to eat breakfast and drive up. And at first I said, yes, we are. Because I thought, no, I'm definitely going to do this triathlon. And I laid there and I thought, well, actually, should we do this? We're going to write off the whole of Sunday be traveling tired be there and i could drive by sleep all afternoon like it just didn't just didn't add up so unfortunately we made the decision not to go didn't we so yeah we did mm, as somebody put on a comment in the previous video i bottled it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyway but we're gonna try and make the most of today liz is gonna go for a run now i'm just working on the 12 hour tt bike so um, that should be ready today so i can be riding it this week so that i know it's good for next weekend and then i'm gonna try and go for a long run this afternoon it's throwing my training plan up in the air because obviously i was planning to be tired after today have a few days recovery but actually this has enabled me to have a really good taper into the 12 hours so uh, it should be good and also enabled me to focus on some running this week as well okay how far are you going where are you going what are you doing I'm not really sure. Just oh. decide when I start running. You're a mess. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Pull yourself together, girl. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get on this bike. Um, I might cover this in this video. I might cover it in a separate one. I'm not quite sure yet. Let's see how we go. Good afternoon. Apart from it is now the evening. It's half past six. I haven't got out for a long run as I'd hoped to do earlier. It's been raining on and off all day and that was enough of a deterrent to stop me getting out for a long run. And also I spent today building up my uh, Canyon road bike that I'm going to be riding at the 12 hour next week. I'll put a little couple of sneak peek shots on screen for this now. I have done a separate video all about the spec and nutrition plan for the 12 hour. So I'm going to drop that later this week. I'll let you know when, when it goes live and you see it on the channel whatever anyway um so uh, yeah a few people have been asking though how much does a respray cost of a bike now it depends probably you know it depends on what place you go to whether you go to a bike respraying shop a car respraying shop who you go to i'm sure um i would say it might be less than you think it might be i'd probably estimate obviously it depends doesn't it on color what color pattern what paint you're using how much work the paint is doing in terms of stripping the bike down or not and blah 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 but i would expect to pay and i did pay in the region of between 250 and 300 pounds um some people might think that's expensive some people might think that's really cheap i think that's good value if you look at how much time is put into that sort of thing i was certainly getting various pictures of various different stages and um you know i was certainly wasted a lot of the poor guy's time talking about stickers and colors and so on but there you go um so yeah there you go if you want to get a bike respray i'd probably say anywhere between and it's probably going to range and between different places probably between two and five hundred pounds or so so um yeah but mine was mine was 250 okay um time for a run then i'm going to do 5.3 miles just to round it up to 20 miles for the week big mileage uh, obviously no triathlon today it means i can carry on my, with my running this week but um i can't stand the treadmill for any longer than i absolutely have to so about 40 45 minutes and that'll be great and it's tea time oh my god <laughs> we've just had a power cut because it's stormed <laughs> and of course the treadmill was just stopped like not slowed down just stopped i've never just gone face first into the front of it oh my god <laughs> Whew, living life on the edge all the time man how far have i gone Not point point not point six seven of a mile big run why am i not running outside this is why Oh man, can I call this session Kona prep? Absolutely melting, didn't have a fan on. Trying to get used to being hot. 45 minutes, 5.38 miles. 
eight and a bit minute mile in, nothing really special, but just another run in the books. Definitely to pick this up for the next five weeks. It's six weeks today until the Outlaw Half, which is a triathlon, which I will not be not turning up at for whatever reason. I'll be doing it and I'll be giving it my all, so stay tuned for that. Oh, good end to a, a bit of a weird weekend actually. So yeah, thanks for bearing with. It's been a, a roller coaster as per normal. I hope you, all you guys are good. Well done to those who did the Evolve triathlon today, whether it was the quarter or the half distance. I've seen a few people have done it and it's great stuff to do it in poor weather. That obviously bettered me this time. Anyway, whew, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below and I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm. Flicking sweat everywhere. Laters.